What up, what up, youngin? It's your boy E, man. You already know what it is, man. If y'all new to my channel, man, I make videos on everything, man. Sometimes to product review, short films, comedy skits, if you name it. I make videos on whatever I'm feeling at that particular moment. So y'all already know what it is, man. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. If y'all ain't already subscribed, man, y'all just go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, man. And y'all don't forget to hit that bell icon, man, so y'all can stay updated every time I post new content, man. Yeah, today, y'all, I finally will show y'all how I do my free frequency separation. This is going to be a short video that kind of tells you how to go into it. I'm not going to completely show you my whole editing process, but this is um what how I attack frequency separation. So before we start, what is frequency separation? So pretty much the whole purpose of um, doing frequency separation is separating your high layers um, from your low layers, or in other words, your color layer from the texture layer. Um, that's pretty much it. There's some other technical terms that I'm not even going to pretend to know. So y'all, let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate that background. So we'll hit Control J or Command J. So it's going to make um, two layers. So you want to name one skin low. So with this, you can kind of name it whatever you want. Um, if you want frequency separation high, frequency separation low, um, or color texture, you can kind of do whatever you want for the naming. But for me, this is what I like to name it and it works for me. So the first thing we want to do is we want to apply a Gaussian blur. So we'll go to filter, click on filter. We go to blur, Gaussian blur. Um, I personally like to go just roughly around here because I think that's where like you get like the most concentrated texture in the face. Um, I think um, we'll actually do 10. Um, I think that's good. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Um, so what that does is that applies because if I uncheck this, you guys see that applies like a layer, um, a Gaussian blur to them. Then to separate the texture from the color. So we're going to go to image, apply image. So this is pretty much where we're going to do our separation. So first you want to select the layer you want to separate. So which would be the skin um, low or your color layer. You want to hit subtract. This scale and offset, uh, honestly, don't ask me why, but that's just how it is. There's some technical explanation as to why, but I don't know that. I just know this works from a lot of other people. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Obviously, you don't want to edit like this. So what we want to do is we want to change the blending mode from normal to linear light. So this will get back to the spot that you, in terms of the original picture. So usually with this, what I do, and I learned this technique from Prince Mason. Shout out to Prince Mason, man. Dude is a super dope Nigerian photographer, man. He's, he's like one of the people that I look up to. So this is his technique in terms of the next part, what I'm about to show you guys. So what we do, we'll go ahead and can, um, make a lay of the O copy. Um, we'll go ahead and create a clipping mask and we'll do the same to the high copy and go ahead and create a clipping mask. Now you don't have to do this, but I like this. And also if you guys notice right now, this is just overly sharpened. So if you go back and you hit normal, that takes it back to the original state. Um, I like to make this copy, especially because of, um, I got this technique from Prince Mason. I mean, it's, this is a smart idea because if you mess up, um, you can easily just delete that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to um, our first, the color layer, and we're just going to blend the uh, skin tones a little bit. And um, with this, you kind of want to be zoomed out a little bit just because just um, with you zooming out, that lets you actually see um, exactly what it, the image is. Um, you don't want to be too zoomed in. So we'll just go ahead right here. We're going to hit um, extra brush um, right here. And you guys see right here, um, 
this is kind of up to your personal preference, but for me, this is what I'm comfortable with. I leave the wetness at 10, the load at 20, the mixer, mixer at 25, the flow at 20. And so what we're just going to do is the important thing is to just stay within um, the shades of the skin. So if you're in the highlight area, um, stay stay in that area and just blend that in. So what you want to do is create a smooth transition um, for that. Um, the brush will actually bring that low. And if you're in, in the shadows or your mid tones, try to stay in, in there. So we'll just go ahead and just blend, blend, blend. So we just want to create um, an even. I'll kind of show you guys. So you guys see so far the difference. So we just want to make sure um, skin is as even as it's going to be. So we just want to just dabble on that. So create that smooth transition um, from like from the colors in her skin. So with this, it's very important to um, really just try not to overdo it because you can easily overdo this um, as well. So we'll just go ahead and just slightly work it. So right now when then we'll just do this highlight part, um, we we'll just make sure, let's see, uh, that part is looking actually go ahead and undo that gonna head and undo this last part so we'll just go ahead and just do right there flush there as you're doing this though is you're gonna see it's gonna make the image a little bit flat which is fine because um, cause at the end of the day, we're just going to add some um, some dodging and burning to your image. And then that's going to bring back those highlighted areas and, and those shadow areas um, for you. So we just go ahead and just keep working. Now you just want to be patient. See, right now it's made the picture a little flat, which is okay. Because at the end of the day, we are going to um, apply um, some dodging and burning um, to the picture. And we're just going to um, bring back those highlights um, back. Okay, so once that's done, I like what I'm seeing. Then we're going to go to the skin layer. So, um, to the texture layer so this right here for this you guys want to be zoomed in once you use the clone it will clone not only just that part of the skin but also the texture so if you have a place that isn't as smooth as the other one it's gonna clone that and then you might end up with some parts of the skin that have um, softer texture now remember you can't fix everything but you can fix what you can fix. How y'all doing with this coronavirus, man? I hope y'all staying safe, man, because it ain't no joke. It's crazy. I, I ain't thinking our lifetime and my lifetime um, will witness a pandemic that literally put the world at, at, a, at a standstill. Like, it's crazy. You know what also that, you know, made me realize is as a planet and as a society, we are not ready. Like, you know, a lot of people are saying the end of the world, the end of the world. And if the end of the world was to happen, we would be screwed. Like, people are not ready, man. You know, even Kevin Hart said it. He wasn't ready. Like, we ain't going to be ready. So, it's, it's like, just think about it. Like, people going crazy on toilet paper. Hey, low-key, I was mad, though, because right when I low-key needed toilet paper, everybody went crazy on it. So now, 
we running low on toilet paper. Good thing I bought a little bit of paper towel, I guess, true. If push come to shove, you gotta do what you gotta do. But I guess you can't flush paper towel, but that's TMI, right? Y'all don't care about my issues. <laughs> y'all just want me to show y'all. So what, this is what we're doing. We just go ahead and fix some of that. Y'all can see the difference right now. Um, just taking majority of the big spots out of her skin. Um, just making sure that we're doing what we can to help take those blemishes out. Tell y'all the story, man. In high school, we was at a, at the uh, lunch table, and if you know anything about lunch table, especially if you like with black people, black people were roasted. <laughs> so I got, I had this friend of mine who was dark, man. When I say buddy was dark, but that's like my homie, though. That's like my butt, but <laughs> he was funny as his mud. So anyways, one day somebody was roasting him, right? He said, <laughs> I, I think, I don't know. I think Loki, this might be a Michael Blackson joke, but they used it. Um, <laughs> but he said, um, <laughs> hey, hi, I don't even know how he said that. He said, so the guy that was roasting my friend <laughs> said, when God said, let there be light, you was out of time. <laughs> I was like, that's messed up because my friend was black as a mother. So he said, when God said, let there be light, you was out of town. <laughs> like, what? That's messed up. <laughs> but anyways, that's that, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, them good memories. But yeah, y'all, back to the stuff. So this is what, um, this is how we do it, how we take care of um just that. Remember, we want to make sure to, Preserve as best as possible texture, man. We don't want to lose that texture. We don't want to lose that texture. So we're just going to keep highlighting and get little spots, little pieces. I don't like that. Okay, so... So y'all always just, you know, keep in mind, just got to go back and keep doing what you keep doing you. So, but yeah, anyways, y'all like my joke. And y'all, man, if y'all like this video and y'all want me to do stuff like this some more, y'all please don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe, man. Go crazy for me, man. Let's, let's go ahead and just grow together. In terms of this stuff, man. And also, in the comment section, y'all just tell me who um, are y'all icons when it comes to photography. I got a couple. Um, obviously, Prince Mason is one that I just admire his work. Um, I think Buddy is super dope. Um, Annie Ortiz um, also is dope. And then I, I can never remember his name, but... F, some, um, F, J, some, um, is dope as well. And 924 Photography, I mean, he's, he's dope. His work just is, wow, I, can, I don't even know their names. But, yeah, 924 Photography, man. Y'all, listen, check out 924 Photography. Um, dude is really dope. In terms of that, we are done with Frequency Separation. Um, in terms of the face, so let's go ahead and show you the before, the after, the before, the after. I'm going to leave that part. That part isn't as important to me. So if y'all like this picture or just this tutorial, um, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button, man. If y'all like this content and y'all want me to make some more content like this, y'all go ahead and smash that button for me. Let's get it.